Admiral Scheer, one of the three pocket battleships developed by Germany before Adolf Hitler's rise to power, made its engines roar and ventured forward at full speed to attack the Allied convoy of 38 merchant ships. With its outstanding speed of 52 kilometers per hour and six 28-centimeter guns, the ship was a force to be reckoned with. However, her thirst was suddenly brought to an abrupt halt when one of the merchant ships left the convoy formation and turned straight into the German battleship. The maneuver was reckless and suicidal, but the crew aboard the small converted merchant ship HMS Jervis Bay was determined to save the rest of the convoy, even at the cost of their own lives. Pocket Battleships After the Treaty of Versailles was signed in 1919, Germany was forbidden from having a proper army. This included ground, air, and sea assets. The Washington Naval Treaty only allowed the German Navy to build new vessels that displaced a maximum of 10,000 tons. Meanwhile, the victors of World War I could build warships of up to 35,000 tons. This put the Reichsmarine, the new German Navy born after the fall of the Prussian army, at a disproportionate disadvantage against most European navies. However, German naval officers quickly began preliminary studies to develop a new type of warship that could be light enough to not exceed the tonnage limit, but also armed to the teeth to destroy enemy ships that were heavier and larger. After several years of meticulous studies and negotiations with Britain, France, and the United States, the Reichsmarine approved the design of the first ship of the Deutschland class in 1928, and three were eventually built, Deutschland, Admiral Scheer, and Admiral Graf Spee. The ships were classified as Panzerschiffe, or armored cruisers. Still, the United Kingdom decided to catalog the vessels as pocket battleships because of their heavy armament. Despite their light weight, the ships were all set to be armed with six powerful 28-centimeter guns. Ultimately, they were all designed to outgun any hostile cruiser fast enough to approach them and fire. In other words, if the pocket battleships could not outrun their objectives, they could outgun them. Admiral Scheer Admiral Scheer was named in honor of Prussian Admiral Reinhard Scheer, who commanded the Kaiser's high seas fleet during the Battle of Jutland in World War I. The German government ordered the ship from the Reichsmarinewerft shipyard in Wilhelmshaven, and she was launched on April 1, 1933. The Panzerschiff was christened by Admiral Scheer's daughter, Marianne Besserer, and was fully completed a year later, on November 12, 1934. Admiral Scheer was over 186 meters long and had a beam of almost 22 meters, with a maximum draft of 7.25 meters. The pocket battleship displaced 13,440 tons and could reach up to 15,200 tons if fully loaded. Also, she had a crew of 30 officers and almost 1,050 sailors. The ship's main armament comprised six 28-centimeter guns mounted in two triple gun turrets located forward and aft. The secondary armament consisted of eight 15-centimeter guns mounted in single turrets. Admiral Scheer's anti-aircraft battery originally included six 8.8-centimeter guns, replaced in World War II by six 10.5-centimeter C-33 guns, 28 2-centimeter Flak-30 guns, and four 3.7-centimeter C-30 guns. To bolster the ship's commerce rating effectiveness, she would later be equipped with two Arado AR-196 seaplanes and one catapult to launch them. Admiral Scheer was also armed with a pair of 53-centimeter deck-mounted torpedo tubes located on the stern. The ship's armored belt ranged from 60 to 80 millimeters in thickness. The upper deck was 17 millimeters thick, while the main guns were protected by over 140 millimeters of armor. In addition, the ship was powered by eight-man nine-cylinder engines that delivered a maximum speed of over 52 kilometers per hour and a range of almost 16,000 kilometers. After Admiral Scheer completed sea trials in 1935, she was sent to Spain to evaluate German civilians and participate in the country's ongoing civil war. Spanish Civil War Admiral Scheer's first mission was in July of 1936, when she was sent with her sister ship, Deutschland, 
to rescue German civilians from the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War. The ships also had the secret mission to gather information about the Soviet involvement in the war, such as studying the armament and supplies Joseph Stalin sent to the communist Spanish Republicans. Additionally, both pocket battleships delivered war assets to the nationalists, led by General Francisco Franco, once Germany denounced the supplies that the USSR, Britain, and the US gave to the Republicans. Although their role was non-belligerent, Admiral Scheer and Deutschland were attacked by Republican aircraft off the coast of Ibiza on May 29, 1937. In response, Admiral Scheer bombarded the port of Almeria a day later. Almost a year after the ship's first sighting on the Spanish coasts, Admiral Scheer was relieved by her sister, Admiral Graf Spee, and returned to Germany for service. Raiding the Atlantic Following the invasion of Poland on September 1, 1939, Admiral Scheer remained outside the port of Wilhelmshaven, awaiting orders alongside the heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper. Then, on September 4, British Bristol Blenheim bombers attacked both vessels. Several bombs hit Admiral Scheer's deck, but failed to explode. Meanwhile, the ship's anti-aircraft guns managed to shoot down an enemy aircraft, and the other four were destroyed by the alerted German defenses during the second assault. It was Admiral Scheer's baptism of fire. Shortly afterward, the pocket battleship was modified to become a commerce raider. This obeyed Admiral Raider's strategy to disrupt Allied merchant shipping instead of directly facing the superior numbers of the Royal Navy. Under the command of Captain Theodore Crank, Admiral Scheer was eventually sent to ravage the convoys of the Atlantic in October of 1940. The ship discreetly made her way through Arctic waters to avoid contact with the Royal Navy before slipping through the Denmark Strait. While in the middle of a hurricane that swept two men overboard, Captain Crank was advised that a large British convoy with the codename HX84 had left Halifax in Nova Scotia. The convoy comprised 38 merchant ships and was escorted by a converted armed merchant ship, HMS Jervis Bay. She was a symbolic escort, for the ship was armed with World War I-era six-inch guns and nothing more. Captain Crank launched his two Arado seaplanes every day to look for the Allied convoy, until it was finally spotted on November 5, 1940. Implacable. As the Allied convoy was spotted, Admiral Scheer's crew ran to their battle stations, ready to eliminate the 38 merchant vessels coming his way. It was then that HMS Jervis Bay and her captain, Edward Fagan, put up a stiff and heroic fight despite their bare-bones armament, but went down after only 22 minutes of combat. Still, Fagan achieved his purpose of giving more than enough time for the merchant ships to escape. Admiral Scheer's guns fired relentlessly, and the engines roared to catch up with the convoy. However, he only managed to destroy five of the more than 30 ships, sending over 53,000 tons of Allied resources to the ocean's depths. The Royal Navy then dispatched a task force of six warships to hunt down Admiral Scheer. Meanwhile, the Atlantic Marauder eluded and continued sinking merchant ships. On December 18th, the German vessel attacked the ship Duqueza and took her crew before sinking her. After refueling with auxiliary ships, Admiral Scheer sank two more merchant ships worth over 19,000 tons. The German crew spent Christmas at sea and kept avoiding direct contact with their British warships. Then, in April, the pocket battleship returned to Kiel after an Atlantic raid that spanned about 85,000 kilometers and resulted in the loss of 17 Allied merchant ships worth over 114,000 tons. Admiral Scheer had proven herself as an effective commerce raider. Buried in Kiel Admiral Scheer returned to combat in February of 1942 to participate in Operation Russellspring to disrupt Allied shipping near Norway. Shortly afterward, it took part in Operation Wunderland to conduct a sortie into the Kara Sea to attack Soviet shipping vessels. Then, in August, the ship sank the Soviet icebreaker Sibiryakov and bombarded the port of Dixon. After repairs in Germany, the pocket battleship took to the island of Ozel in November of 1944 to support friendly forces attacking Soviet air, ground, and sea units. 
Admiral Scheer then went to Kaliningrad and Peza in February to attack Soviet positions and disseminate hostile resistance to ground forces. The continuous artillery barrages left the ship's guns badly worn out and in desperate need of repair, so the ship swiftly returned to Kiel for immediate assistance. However, on April 9, 1945, the pocket battleship and the port were attacked by a Royal Air Force bombing raid. Admiral Scheer was hit by multiple bombs and capsized. Following Germany's surrender, Admiral Scheer was broken up for scrap and sank with most of her hull intact. The ship remains buried under keel after the inner harbors were filled during the post-war period. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Also, let us know what you think of Admiral Scheer's service during the Second World War in the comments below. Were the pocket battleships powerful enough to take the fight against the Royal Navy?